Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here. We're looking at Santa Ana winds continuing through Wednesday, but continuing to also decrease over Southern California. Let's talk a little bit about what we've seen. The summary is a slow start to the rainy season since October 1st. We see moderate Santa Ana winds continuing, but again, they will diminish, especially by Wednesday afternoon, we'll see very little wind. Continued fire weather danger because we'll still have areas of Santa Ana winds and the canyons and passes tonight through Wednesday morning and still very low humidity, poor recovery tonight in the windy areas, but cold uh, and light winds in other areas. Onshore winds will develop and increase on Thursday. So that's a moist wind coming in from the ocean. However, mainly dry weather uh, through mid-December some light precipitation is possible on Thursday. Additional weather systems will go by to the north, but it looks like they'll go by to the north and that means they miss us. And we mainly could see some offshore flow or weak Santa Ana wind with that weather pattern. This is a look at the peak Santa Ana winds. You can see Santa Ana winds are always in pockets. Um, where there's openings between the mountains because the wind can either go in those openings or up and over the mountains. Sometimes it does both. In this case, you can see the Cajon Pass wind corridor where the winds gusted in the 50 mile per hour range, the San Gregorio Pass. And keep in mind, the winds are blowing from east to west in this case. And then down in San Diego, you see another one uh, near Escondido and then the I-8 corridor where the strongest winds occurred along the I-8 quarter. There were areas that gusted over 80 miles per hour. Then you see areas where there was no wind, such as the Inland Empire area near Paris, Southern Orange County, uh, the greater San Diego metro area, uh, blocked by the mountains upstream because the wind is going east to west. Humidity was really dry everywhere, even if you didn't have much wind. So we saw minimum humidity below 10%. Some places incredibly low, 1, 2 to 3% for relative humidity. Now, what is a Santa Ana wind? It's the wind blowing from cold air in the Great Basin or Utah, which is higher pressure, more dense air. So it blows high to low pressure. So the stronger that high pressure is, the more wind you get typically in Southern California. This is a look at the wind continuing through Wednesday morning. Again, the wind will pick up in some places along the foothills as we lose the heating of the day. Um, the atmosphere becomes stable and the air and the cold air starts sinking down the mountains. But regardless, some places will see continued windy conditions as shown here. And that's why the red flag warning continues. Now, the outlook for precipitation is very little, but I did mention that Thursday could see some rain with the weather system moving by to our north. We get the tail end of that. Potentially very wet conditions for northern half of California with several storms moving through this weekend into early next week. Now, it's been a very dry start to the year, especially Southern California. We've seen precipitation below 20% some cases below 10% of where it should be. So a quarter or less of the precipitation we should have by this time of the year. That's why fire conditions are so sensitive right now and vegetation is so dry. We just haven't seen the rain. The fuel moisture shows that and we can see it's been rapidly drying out across our region. Now we're still gonna be really dry on Wednesday, even though, like I said, the winds will decrease and become light by Wednesday afternoon. But with the warmer temperatures and the drier in place, all the way to the coast, dry humidity, 20% or less. We're gonna see milder temperatures, especially in coastal areas and even the mountain areas as those winds die off and relax. However, we're gonna see some really cold morning temperatures on Wednesday as shown here, especially in those areas where the winds die off. You have the dryer in place and the clear skies, perfect ingredients for all that heat to escape into space 
and for very cold morning temperatures. And remember that cold air sinks to the lowest elevations. The weather pattern looks like this, Wednesday through Thursday. There's the weather system that goes by quickly, zonal flow west to east across the Pacific. And we just get the southern edge of that. That's why there's a chance of some rain light on Thursday. Now for the weekend, another weather system takes a similar path across Northern California. Uh, a little bit of cold air behind it sets up that high pressure over the Great Basin. So we go into some offshore flow Santa Ana winds on Sunday. The pattern repeats itself. Again, it's going west to east across the Pacific, very kind of flat flow. And early next week, another system goes by to our east across the northern Great Basin and northern Rockies, and the cold air behind that sets up for a little more offshore flow Santa Ana wind again. The outlook uh, for mid-December is drier than normal. So next week, drier than normal Southern California and milder than normal. So we see the storm track is focused, as I showed you, across Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. Now that looks like it's going to continue right before Christmas with milder than average conditions over most of California and that milder Pacific air not Arctic air, but Pacific air, bringing the jet stream and the storm track and the rainfall into Northern California and the Pacific Northwest right up before Christmas. We don't see much change in the long, long range outlook as well, where it's indicating below average for Southern California, above average for Pacific Northwest. Now this doesn't mean January, February, March will be dry, but this is an outlook for the rest of December. The computer models are indicating the same thing, but there is a small window of opportunity that's been showing up uh, before Christmas and then again before New Year's. So right now, mainly dry, but things could change in the next week or two here in December. Here are some resources for following the weather, following the alerts, um, and checking out the latest wind gusts, for example, or getting your own detailed weather forecasts. Keep in mind, we're on X, Facebook, and of course on YouTube as well. All right, stay safe, everyone, uh, in the Santa Ana conditions, and um, let's hope to see a little bit of rain uh, for the middle part of this rainy season or the middle of this winter.